page faults are the kernel's currency and the tax that the kernel pays because of this concept that's called virtual memory. You see, a page fault happens when the CPU tries to read a page. It tries to read a piece of memory. Usually, this is a virtual address that is the process that the process provides it to. It says, hey, read this virtual address. And we know that this needs to be mapped to a physical address, to a physical page in physical memory that we have. And the when that mapping entry doesn't exist for one reason or another, then the CPU raises a page fault. And that essentially tells the kernel, hey kernel, deal with this. I'm trying to read something, god dang it. And you don't have a physical memory here, so I'm not reading anything, I'm stopping right here. Deal with it. And the kernel, takes a physical page and restores it into a, uh, into memory, right? So the, what the kernel does is it, it restores a physical memory or creates a brand one, depending on the situation, and then it creates a mapping entry on the page table that maps this virtual address to this physical page and the CPU can take over after that. Now, examples of what this can happen and the common example that we all know about is is swap or or page files in windows where i'm reading uh, uh, i have a page that is allocated to the a physical page a physical area a memory allocated to this address but then the kernel says eh, this process doesn't really use that physical memory much this access so let me swap it to disk and put a pointer to where this file lives where the page has been swapped. So I can free up this physical memory and I put, uh, I give it to someone else. So that's valuable, right? So a page fault happens if that, if the CPU detected that, oh, this, the physical page is not present. So it will go, the kernel will go to disk and read it. But that's, uh, the kernel and the kernel will go back to disk and fetch it back to physical memory and, and update the physical location and the mapping and then hey you see if you can go back and read but that is just one example of many six or seven cases where a page fault happens why do they happen why do they need them what's the cost of these uh, page faults what are the scenarios that page faults happen 